Each of the rows in this Airtable we would like to export to a presentation. The first step is to create the last modified column, so Integromat knows which column to export, and the second field is to create a checkbox that will allow us to export that particular row into second view. So we'll create to be exported view, and we will filter it out that it shows only the rows that have the checkbox marked. This way we'll be able to select in their table which row should be exported into PowerPoint. The next step is to create a template. Here is an example of a template that I have already created. The names inside of the curly brackets correspond to the columns that we would like to export. The next step is to create a scenario. We will look for Airtable and start with Airtable and watch records. We need to select our base and select the correct table. In this case, this is table one and we will select the last modified field and we will select the view to be exported slides, which means only the views that we need to export with the checkbox will go out and then put 100 records max to be exported. The next step is to create Google Slides connection. Within Google Slides, we'll select create a presentation from a template. We need to title our presentation and we can have dynamic fields in the name, in the title. The next step is to select our template presentation. This will be inside of the folders on our Google Drive. Now we will see all the values that are inside of the template and we can substitute those values with um, selected variables. For users, there is a slight trick because Integromat was having issues exporting integers. That's why we need to change it to a string. The same thing will go for price. I have reported this issue to Integromat and by the time you watch this video, most likely will be fixed. But in case not, uh, just know that you need to convert integers to the strings. No issue for the last modified date and logo will leave empty. We'll add the logo in the next step. Final element is to save the slides into a folder. So we have selected folder for that. The final step is to select update an image to a presentation. We select the presentation from the previous step. Select the tag for the logo. We need to manually type here the name of the tag logo. And we select the URL from Airtable from the uh, initial step. Now we click OK and everything is ready to export. We need to click the checkbox on our base to make sure that we are able to export the slides to make sure that our table will notice the changes and then we click run once and once we refresh we will see brand new presentation that will contain logo from our table and it will contain all the information here here we are exporting another slide and we see the second template that's it hope you guys enjoyed and if you liked it please subscribe